Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Tim Time Projects. Tim here. So in front of us is our brand new, well actually behind me, in front of you, is our brand new uh, humidity, or what do you call, condensation pump from the furnace AC unit. We'll call nice and dry it is. But that wasn't the case. That was not always the case. So. I don't have any footage of uh, the actual leak, but uh, I do have some of me replacing it. So if you're wondering why I haven't put any videos out in a while or anything anything fun, it's because things like this have been taking all my time. And I'm sure you could probably all agree with that kind of thing. So anyhow, uh, I'll show you the, the, the video of replacing that. And it seems to be working just great. Got it from Home Depot. All right, that's the culprit right there. The uh, condensation pump. Kind of meant to do that. Kind of interesting how it works. So it sits here, the condensation one down this tube here. And then when this gets filled, there's a uh, little float in here. You can see the float comes up and it runs well, for a few seconds after that. And this apparently is a check valve. That might have been my problem to begin with, but as you can see, it's not really working because the flow just went back and forth. But, the question is, is this going to be a piece of cake to replace or a pain in the butt? So let's see. I'm hoping I can just take the front cover of the furnace off and that that plugs in and they didn't do anything else. These little doodads here turn about a quarter turn. Good lord. Alright, so they, uh, looks like R2D2 in here. They don't have a plug, they actually strip the wires. And, uh, hopefully you can see it. They have wire nuts on it, so. I do have a new unit right here, and I'll show you that. All right, here we go. Here, got it from Home Depot. Ordered it. it was here in just a couple days. Looks a little bit different than that one. So uh, let's see. Has you can pull these you can pull these plugs out and put them where they're needed. I guess this is the check valve right in the front. And like I said, I'll have to cut this cord. Strip the wires. I was hoping they would have just had a plug inside there that just plugged in, but no, no, they can't do that. There's a little piece of cardboard in here says remove. I'd imagine that holds the float from bouncing all over the place. That's been removed. All right, let me put this in place. So, pull this one out. It, uh, a little, little doodad on it. We'll call the hose clamp. Not wanting to get too technical. And 
gonna there we go. I'm gonna probably stare at my bald head. Let's take that guy off there. When well, I took that front lid off, that nothing would power up. But let's just see. Oh no, it'll still work. So I'll turn off. That's power to the furnace. I'll turn that off. I don't really want to break it. There we go. It's coming. Very slowly, but it's coming. There we go. All right, so let's get this one out of the way and put the new one up on its little step. This one's plastic. Better or worse? Hmm. All right. That one slide right on there. Now I will tighten this clamp. They have it sitting on this brick, which is an idea. It keeps the tube up in there for easy replacement. segment from here. Let me see if you can see anything. It's a little bit dark in here. Alright. I'll probably go get a light. So, blue goes to white, black goes to black. So let me get a light. Hang on. Alright. Here's the Tim Time light. I'm trying to find the best place to put it here. I think that might make the camera not work so good. So. What I'm going to do before I cut the wires, I'm going to test it. Let's see. It's going to be the black. So we'll make the black red. And we know that black is generally the hot wire. And the hot wire, make sure you're still looking at everything now that I bumped everything. Let's see. I'm going to put this somewhere else. Maybe that helps. I don't know. So the Let's see. That's not what we want. We want black and brown. Here's the two black wires. They go together. Black's generally the hot wire. 
so it goes to the smaller of the two leads. All right, we're going to have to go with the hospital grade outlet. That's the only thing I can find. Uh, see the smaller side is that side right there. That's the hook. You also notice that's got the, the brass leads on it. So if you plug that in, like so, this would be the hot side. So put a lead there. And the yellow is going to be the common side. We'll put a lead there. And I guess I could have filled it with water and just turned it on, huh? All right, and then the blue, at least on this harness, the blue is going to the white, so we're going to pull the blue off there. It's got common. There's that and that. Nothing's touching. We're good to go. I'm just going to leave the green tied to ground for now. Let me turn that power back on. This will take a few seconds to do its little whatever it's going to do. You can see the board going through some kind of diagnostics down there. Okay. I'm going to get some water and fill up that, that pump. Alright, well, we can hear it working. We can see it working. Cover that back up. Okay, I didn't see it come back down the line, so it means the check valve is working too. All right, so we know the pump works. So it's time to shut the power off again. And let's pull these off here, like so. Get this guy out of here as well. Round. This guy out of here. All right. Not as much as I hate to do it. Bring a new piece of equipment. I'm gonna cut the wires. So we'll cut it right about here, I guess. All right. We'll get right about there. We'll give it room to come in and plenty of room to dangle around. But first, oops. Okay. Wire's cut. Grab that grommet. And put it on this wire and then we'll strip some off this wire. I'll cut it down about four or five inches. Okay, so we said the blue was the hot. We'll tie the blue to the blacks because that's the eh, pretty much the common acceptance that black will be hot and white will be common. Put this together like so. Put this guy in here. Now we know that green's generally going to be the hot. and go over here to the ground. And just through the process of elimination. So brown goes to the white.
there that's all dialed in it's all back the way it should be no hangers on the white green to green blue to black all right let's get this guy out of here let's get this guy out of here we'll put the cover back on again turn quarter or so the arrow points up okay flip the power on we can take it a couple of minutes again to to get going hopefully you're still looking at something realistic Oops, side over here I'll fill that guy up again and we'll double check it And as you can hear, it's pumping. I can feel it in the line. All right, I'm put stuff away and clean up, and we're done. Hopefully, this will last. So the problem I had was I came down here last week, and the whole floor was soaking wet. And this guy was here. Wasn't sure if that was it or not. Couldn't find anywhere else that water would be coming from. And uh, this was really hot. So I tried to spin it and it felt like it was binding a little bit. Whether the check fail was screwed up or something, maybe blocking, I don't know what happened to it. Drained all the water off, let it cool down. And it worked fine from there after. But you did see that the check fail wasn't working. So I don't know, maybe it, uh, Maybe it wasn't pumping the water and it was just going back and forth, back and forth. But anyhow, it heated up and I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to replace this. And then when I took this apart, there was a big crack down the one side. So, 40 some dollars and there you have it. This stuff always happens just when you're getting ready to go somewhere and I was getting ready to go out of town. All right, so that's a wrap. It works back together and it's the VCMA 15 it's the little giant is it made by a uh, little giant it's a condensation pump Franklin electric this one's made by it says down there so there you have it. Thanks for watching.